but just smacked off and but like it pinched me so it was really it scary died. it, it probably died like, but anyway yeah the piranha <coughs> oh <laughs> did you get that on camera <laughs> How we doing? Today is Friday, February 3rd. It's about 9.30 in the morning. A couple things happened to get me here. Let me explain. So first things first, before I even was able to wake up, like physically really be awake, my mom had me in the car and bringing her to an appointment that was last minute. But you gotta do what you gotta do for your mom. So I brought her there. So we hopped in the car. Yeah. First we hit the back roads. Then we hit the highway. And then we arrived at the hospital. Dropped her off. You need, you need help or anything? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Text me when you're inside and you got everything ready. Yeah. See you soon. God bless. And now I have like two, almost three hours to myself. And I said the first thing I got to do is get a haircut. The one brought the shoe back. The shoe back. Yeah, yeah. That's What's happening. going on, bro? How'd you do? Okay, how did you do your hair? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. downtown diner amazing my mom made me go get the car so she's inside Billy's diner waiting for me I'm gonna go pick her up right now Ugh. I just got raw chicken juice in my eye is that like toxic all right, so I just got back home. Uh, I picked up some chicken. I have to cook my chicken up. You guys like my Ireland hat? I, I really don't know why I put it on. I just like, I just like the hat. But regardless, I'm pretty busy today, so I'm actually gonna talk about the topic while I'm cooking. See, I'm cutting the fat off my chicken here. So don't mind me, but just listen to what I'm saying. So today's topic was supposed to be something completely different, but I had a conversation with somebody today that fired me up enough for what we were talking about to become today's topic. I don't, I don't even have like a proper title for today's thing, at least not yet. Basically what we were talking about was something that they were struggling with from years ago. I'm talking a long time, not like last week, not yesterday, not like a couple hours, like, like years. And that right there is something that I feel a lot of people struggle with and I wanna talk about it. Listen. Like, it, it's okay to have issues. You know, it's okay to like be upset with people and whatnot, because that stuff happens, it's called life. But to live for years in those issues, that in itself is an issue. Because I, I talk about it all the time, but life is so short. Living with an issue or living, like, like is, is, in, is in harboring a word, like a way? I don't know how to. Keeping something against somebody, a grudge if you will, for years. Life is way too short for that. So something that I've really been working on as of late and what I usually do is whenever I have a problem or an issue with somebody or I'm upset, I I've made it a really important point to not allow it into my brain for too long. Now I haven't had like a crazy tragedy happen to me 
uh, at least not yet. So there's people out there who have things like that happen and I get that and you need time. Like it's okay for things to hurt. It's okay for things to, it's okay to not be okay. I don't mean to sound cliche, but it, it's, it is fine. But living with it for years, like, like, ow. It, it, it's so, like, it's such a waste of time. And, and, and the person I was talking with today was telling me of stuff that somebody said years ago. And I'm like, why, why are you still thinking about it? Like, why are we talking about it? Why are, why are we talking about it for one? Why are you still thinking about it for two? And if, if we're talking and thinking about it, that means you haven't let it go yet. So here's my suggestion, and this is kind of what I want to get across today. If you have a problem with someone, with something or whatever, and you're having an issue letting it go, my suggestion would be let it go. I only allow problems or things into my mind for literally moments. Like, it takes a lot to get me mad, but when I'm mad, I get mad. I get really mad. But here's the thing, it's almost weird and, and people say it's actually kind of freaky, like I will get so mad and then within seconds, like literally 10, 15, 20 seconds after the problem, I'm like, <sighs> done. And it's out of my system quicker than it got in. And I, I'll even talk to the person that I'm mad at like nothing happened because it's not worth living with. It's not worth dwelling in the problem. Why are you gonna waste your time? You're literally giving moments of your life to that problem that you will never get back. It's a waste of time in my mind. It may take some time to train your brain, to train yourself to react this way to issues. So I'm not saying that this is like a quick decision thing. Like it's a decision in your mind and there's a turning point. Like from this point forward, I'm gonna do this, but you're gonna have to work at it. And each time it comes at you, you're gonna have to work to get to where you need to go. I've, I've even gotten to the point now where I'm like, you know what, what problem? You and me had a problem, when was this? Tell me, I don't remember. A lot of the time I don't remember. The moment it's done, let it be done. Get it out of your mind. The less you focus on your problems, the more you can start focusing on your solutions. The less you focus on your negativity in life, the more you can focus on your positivity. It actually opens up space in your brain so you can focus on other better things. I, I, I don't wanna name the person I spoke with because you know, that's rude. So it, it happened to me today. We came up in conversation and it's something that for lack of better terms ticked me off. And I was like, you know what? I got to vent this one a little bit out to people, but also it's a lesson to be learned, I think as well. So hopefully this helps. I'm going to finish my chicken that I have right here. Yeah, I'm busy today. So I'm just going to keep it rolling here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't, I think like two or three hours have gone by. I'm going to take a shower so I can get ready. I have Friday night leadership tonight. Right? Mm -hmm. Huh? Huh, <laughs> yeah. driving the other one, the new one back. Like the old one's gone already? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yo, what up? Um, <clears throat> let me just put my stuff down, and yeah, I promise wait. I'll bring it in later. Oh, wait, man. I'll be right here. Just don't hang on it, though. Because i got to move my car first and stuff. I think he's going to hang on it. <clears throat> I might hang on it. All right, you can hang on it. But trust me, it's coming, man. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my man, my man brings it in. He brings it in. You could just stay here for a while. If you want to know I'm dead. Are you gonna put it right in there? No! For <laughs> Can I tell you a story? What? Yeah. <laughs> One time, so my friend, she had like her dad had piranhas. Like a, pir ones? a piranha in oh, his um in, his, yeah. in their basement. That's uh -huh. scary. So I was like, "Hey, little fishy, fishy, fishy!" fishy. <gasps> this what? thing came out of the yeah. tank <laughs> and grabbed onto my finger, <laughs> and I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> but like, it pinched me, so it was really it scary. Died. It, it died. probably died. Like, but anyway, yeah, the piranha. <laughs> <laughs>